Hello, hello! Welcome back to SaberTech, and today we're going to be going over a compact mail system using structure blocks. And I am here at the community mailbox system we have on Bedrock and Minecraft, which is Prowl's Patreon server. And some of you may be wondering what exactly is the need for a mailbox system. Because if I need to give somebody some items in the game, I can usually just meet up with them. Or if we can't be on at the same time, I'll just go over to their base and leave items at their base. Well, the problem is that on large servers, like here on BMC, uh, there's a lot of people. And like here on Better Record Minecraft, we have nearly a hundred people who play here. And I don't know where everybody lives. I don't think anybody knows where everybody lives. There are so many bases, so many tunnels. If you fly around, you'll just find bases absolutely everywhere. So this provides a convenient way for people to leave each other items if you don't know where they live or if you just want to give somebody, like, I've got some items. Oh, oh yes, that was our... You see, these, these diamonds were owed to me by some people, and uh, instead of having to find my base or anything, they just left the diamonds in my mailbox system. So that is actually... That, that's actually yes, proves my point perfectly there. And if I need to go pay somebody else, like I like I need to pay Simba for building this beautiful mailbox area here, uh, I can just leave some diamonds in her chest, just like that, and I can let her know on Discord that I left some diamonds in there. And whenever she gets on, days later maybe, or whenever, she she can log on, come over here, and she can grab her diamonds. So that is what the idea of a mailbox system is for. But as you can see, um, big servers require big mailbox systems and trying to find the right person it, it can be an absolute nightmare you you can run around here and just like like turtle builder over here in a corner on the second level and if you're on the top level oh lord y yeah yeah good luck trying to find your chest so that is the project for today is being is to create a compact si uh, mail system where you can easily find people's mailboxes so ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the compact mailbox system I developed for Eternia. And this server is going to be a forever world, which means it needs an absolute ton of mailboxes. And this here, this little room right here, holds hopefully all the space we'll ever need for an eternal world. And you may be wondering, how in the world is this going to be enough? That is because over here, we're using a little bit of command block, uh, structure block magic. You can see the structure blocks back here. And if we've got this little index thing right here with all the letters, got a couple special symbols and numbers over there. But if I come over here to press S, S is for Saber, we see my sign pops up over here. And if I press R, R is for Rafe. We'll see Rafe pop up over there, and his side is on. He's got some jungle fence gates in there, his side is on. Come back over here. Let's see. Let's find Prowl. Prowl's a P. So Prowl's over here where mine was. And let, let, let's get let's give Prowl a present. He 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 likes birds fence gates. Uh, and if I come back over here to S, turns back into my chest, and I don't have it in there. And go back to P just to show you guys. Prowl sign is back up, and he's got his birds fence gates. So the way this is done is all for these structure blocks. All right, let's open up one of these structure blocks here and let's tell it to show the bounding box. And if we drop down in here, we can see the area exactly that it's getting loaded and structured and saved and all that kind of fun stuff. So if we play some some choker boxes down here, nothing's going to happen uh, because they are, they are outside of this bounding box. Now, piece of warning, if you do build them on up, and uh, actually, let's go over to A so I know exactly what's going on. Uh, if we build it on up higher, inside of a bounding box, uh, something strange is going to happen. It, it, it's it's going to disappear. Now, it is what is happening is it is getting saved into that structure file, and then a different file is overriding it. So that is what is happening. It's not gone for good. You just have to find the right structure that is linked to it. So, yeah, it is one thing to worry about if you're building one of these is that people 
can actually lose shulkers and whatnot around the system. They can have stuff loaded and then saved and all sorts of kind of crazy stuff can happen. Now, nothing is actually gone for good, but you, you might have to find it. So that is one word of caution. All right, so let's get around to showing you how to build one of these systems. The first thing you're going to need, of course, is access to commands. So you can, so you can do slash give at self structure block. And it is going to give you one of my favorite blocks in the game. It, sh it has this nice little bounding box, shows you what area is it is going to be saving. And it has, of course, a little this interface over here where you can swing around and spin around and take a look at. It, it's all pretty fun. Of course, you make, can make it bigger. Now we have this really long one. And yeah, so if you don't know how to use structure blocks, you really need to start playing around with them because they are a ton of fun to work with and design stuff with. Now before we get to do any structure block magic, first we need to build our little uh, mailbox system right here. Uh, I just have a little system right here that whenever you put an item into the chest, uh, it just turns on this redstone lamp, let people know when they have mail in their chest. And yeah, but now we can go and place down our structure blocks and all of our structure blocks need to load the mailboxes. So let's go ahead and place down, we'll just place down three different uh, structure box right here. You can have as many as you want. You can have as many mailboxes as you want, but I'll just do three of these right here for this tutorial. Now, it's always fun trying to get these structure blocks to fit an area that you want them to. It's always nice and fun. I'm going to go over to this offset over here, and I'm going to give it an offset of, say, not a, not a, of, say, 10, and that is definitely the wrong way. So let's give it, say, negative eight and then z i'm gonna give by that's gonna oh why do you know my social block is now actually loading some of these chests so now i'm gonna keep editing this a little bit so let's make seven make you five let's make you seven and edit loading that and now instead of eight actually i'm gonna make you 15 now now i'm gonna make you negative 15 as well so now we're actually loading the area now we just i'm just gonna go ahead and Spin it down a little bit, so now we're at 9, we can make you uh, offset of negative 10, so that is loading all four mailboxes almost, negative 11, and turn me down to 7, and make you negative 13, oh, that's 9, but yeah, you, as you can see, this is a nice little process you'll have to go through. And once you kind of get a set, uh, pretty much close to the size 4, and you go over one more, so negative 12. So there we go, that is perfectly lined up. We want to make sure we include the sign so that people's names will stay on the sign. Let's do save it right there. And yeah, so now what we can do is we can do control pick block that structure block, and do that again, and this time. We're not loading the chest, but we're a whole lot closer than we were with a blank structure block. And if you're on controller, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, or mobile, I don't know how to do it on mobile. So now we just need to change this offset over here to maybe just 5. And there we go. And put it over here and change you to 3. And there we have it. So now these structure blocks are all loading the same system. And now we need to take another structure block and we need to place it inside of the system somewhere. I'm going to place you right there and now I need you to actually move the same area. So I'm going to go through the same process and make this structure block here be structuring the same chests. Alright, and as usual that took longer than I expected it to. I'm trying to get all of these the, uh, coordinates set just right and then I realized I, I had the structure box a little too close to the area for to make it look good. So I set them back just a little bit and had to redo all those coordinates as well but now we are ready for the red zone so i'm going to set a repeater set to four ticks that could get to each of these structure blocks and freezer freezer each i'll kind of have a block on top of them and then down underneath we're going to drop down a couple of blocks and go like that and we're going to put red zone dust all down there on this side we're going to run a repeater and we'll just have a block with a button and I guess another block with some signs. 
So there's that. And this uh, desk over here needs to come up. And it is run, gonna run over into this here structure block. It's gonna come around and up and over just like that. And I might need a repeater in here somewhere, so I'll just throw a repeater right here. And that should do it. So every time you press this one of these buttons, what's gonna happen first? is this command block over here is going to be activated and then three ticks later this command block or this structure block over here will be activated so now the last thing we need to do is actually name these structure blocks and i've gone ahead and named these signs a b and c drop back over here i'm going to be telling this structure block here to be loading mail a this in here will be loading mail B, already have it in. This in here will be mail C, already have it in as well. And now the last thing I need to do is come over to this save structure block over here. And I need to give mail A a structure file. So I'm going to press the save button. And it has saved all these chests, the area inside of this bounding box. It is now structure file mail A. And if I change it to mail B, Save the same area, so the same chest, the same area is now mail B, but a separate file. And the same thing right here with mail C. We now have three separate files in the same area, and we can switch swap between these. So it's going to give ourselves a nice little visual here. Number A is going to be Saber, number B is going to be Guru, and then number C is going to be Rafe. These are the two of our guys who help me design this system here and we can be swapping this around so what's happening is i have three separate save uh, structure files in here that i'm just loading around and saving each one as i go so i can give saber myself a nice little birch sign and drop someone else and they don't have a sign anymore so it is an absolute fantastic little mail system here super simple and hopefully you guys can take it and run with it one very important thing I almost forgot to mention was that we need to go into these save structure blocks and down here where it says save in memory, we need to change that to save to disk. If we save it into memory, every time the server restarts, that structure file is going to be deleted, is going to be reset, and we can't have that. So we need to do that for every single one of these. So this is mail A, and I need to change it to, or as over well mail number B as well. So change it to save to disk, and then um, same for number C, and this way it is going to be saved, it is, but you're not going to lose a file due to restarts. So yeah, hopefully you all guys learned something and be able to use this and maybe in your worlds if you want a little community uh, mail system that you can index like this. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next Sabertech video. Goodbye.